in this particular lecture, let's go ahead and let's learn how to add a functionality which allows us to mark the to do items as complete. So if you take a look at the current to do item which we have, those particular items are actually saved inside a specific array which is to do's. So let's take a look at that array here. So if you go to to do, uh, this right here is our array which is an empty array right now which was all fine and good up until this point. And if you also take a look at the individual to-do item, so that to-do item is inside the form. So if you go to the form here, this to-do item is nothing but it's a plain simple string up over here like that, which was all fine and good till this point. But now, along with the name of the to-do, let's say we also want to save the status of that particular item. So right now we are only saving the name and for saving the name, a string alone is sufficient. So for example, you could have a string over here for to-do. But right now we want to save the name and along with the name, we also want to set the status for that particular item as well or the done status for that item, which defines if that item is completed or not. So that means now, instead of saving a simple string here, now we'll save the to-do as an object. So over here, let's learn how to convert this thing into an object. So I'll kind of comment this thing out to show you the contrast between the normal string and an object. So in this case, as we want to save the to-do as an object, I'll get rid of this from here, which is the quotation marks. And I would say that I want my to-do to have a name and initially, the value of that name should be empty. And along with this, I need to have another property, which is, let's say done. So if the task is done or not, and I'm going to save the done, not as a string, but instead I want to save it as a Boolean value. So the task could be done or it could be not done. So if the done is true, that means the task is done. But when we add the task for the very first time, the done for this thing should be set to false. So right now we have an object here and now we are storing every single to-do item as an object rather than storing it as a string. All right, so now once we are done with this, now it's not sufficient that we only make those changes here. We actually have to make changes to a couple more things as well. So for example, right now, if I actually go to the app, here it says object object. And that's because inside the input, we are saying that, okay, set the value of this thing to to do. But to do right now is no longer just an empty string, but it's an object. Therefore, as we are only accepting the name of the to do here, instead of the to do object, I would say to do dot name, which is currently this value, which is currently empty. So now this will be emptied out. Now, along with this, there's also one more thing which we need to do. And that is, if I go ahead and type this, there's an error over here. And that's because when we type something in here, the on change of this particular input is triggered. And what this on change is doing is that it's setting the to do value to e dot target dot value. However, the to do value is now an object and you cannot set an object to this string right here. Instead, we have to take the e dot target dot value and we have to set it equal to the name which we have here. So over here we say, all right, the set to do now has to set an object. So I'll add an object here. And from that object, you have to set the name property to e dot target dot value. And after that, we say that we also have this done property as well. So over here, I would say done as let's say false. And that's it. Now, if I go back here, hit refresh. And now if I try to set something, now I won't have any error over here. That means now this is working absolutely fine as well. All right, so now once we have made some changes here, there's another change which we need to make. And that changes, we need to make changes to the to-do list which we have. Because right now, if I try to add an item here, let's say play, and if I click on add, we are going to have an error here. And the reason for having an error here is because right now, if you take a look at the to-do list, the to-do list is trying to map through the to-dos. So let's make those changes over here as well. So here, the key which we are using cannot be simply an item because every single to-do item now has a name as well as the done property. So I could say this should be item.name. And again, this item which we are passing here, this could remain item. So I could save this. And now as you can see that error disappears. So let's add play here. Let's click on add and still we are getting an error over here. And that's because now we have fixed this, but we have to fix the to-do item as well. So right now inside the to-do item, 
Here, we are actually rendering an item, but item is an object and you cannot directly render objects. Therefore, I have to say item.name to get the name over there. So I could finally save this and now let's see if our errors are resolved. So I'll add play here. Let's click on add and the play is added up over here, but there's still some issue over here. So this is working absolutely fine and we do not have any error here. This is even able to delete the items over here as well. But right now this field is not being emptied out. Therefore, I have to go back to form.jsx and I have to set the to do not back to just an empty string, but I have to set it back to this one. So I'll copy this empty object and instead of empty string, I will now set the to do to this empty object. So if I do that, go back here and if I say dinner here, click on add, that's going to set dinner. If I say play, click on add, this is going to add play here and I could even delete them as well. So right now every single task which we have has this particular done property and now what we want to do is whenever we click on certain item we want to toggle the done property of that particular to do to true and false and also if the done for that item is true that means this particular item should be striked out. So let's learn how to design that functionality in the next lecture.